Hey there guys, it's me the Dom Fanatic and welcome to week 4 of the Pokemon Premier League. This week we're taking on the manager Alex, also known as Wanzi Bayner, and his team AS Monferno. I'm so sorry this is so late, me and Alex had to battle Sunday night because it's the only time we were really free. Also disclaimer, I have got the football scores coming on in the background because it's Tuesday night. My team Norwich are playing, they're losing to Chelsea at the moment, so if I scream it's because Norwich score. If I cry it's because Chelsea scored again. Um, anyway, as you can see, teams are on the screen in front of you. I'm not going to do a team builder this week because I haven't got the time. Uh, especially offensive Florgis, especially offensive wall breaking Nuda King, physically defensive Gastrodon, Scarf Jolly Darmanitan, AV Heist, and defensive, uh, especially defensive Skarmory. And there you can see Alex's team. I was pretty accurate, although I thought he would bring Kyurem over Regirock, but Regirock does stop Darm, um, which is one thing he didn't have much for looking at his team. Darm takes it on extremely well. And it's quite lucky I bought Darm, because I originally had Mega Latios in this place and thought, nope, Darm does a lot more than Latios this game. With the bulk I have and the wall breaking power, uh, I feel like I should be able to do okay this game. Just bear in mind, I'm also on the opposite side. I forgot to switch sides when I recorded the replay. Anyway, Alex leads off with Regirock. And leads me to want to think, you know, he he's going to set up rocks. I didn't bring any hazard this week because, you know, Mega Sableye is a pretty decent lead against my team. Um, I only have one sort of really reliable way of taking it down, which is my Flawless. Anyway, I bring in Gastrodon because I can hit that thing hard. I'm just going to click School because, well, there's no point for me to overpredict at this point. I do get the burn, which is nice. Um, and, uh, they, I mean, I can see it's a bulky set of Zapdos. Um, because it has leftovers. The Heliusk is a very safe switch in for me here because even though I know from past experience Heatwave won't do much and I am a Salt Vest um, so I take the extra sensory well. Good scouting. He was obviously expecting my switch into Nuda King. Oh, that's the best thing he has to hit me. I go for the Thunderbolt, get a crit which is nice. Uh, there's a fair bit of hacks this game. Um, definitely has an effect on the outcome. Um, here he predicts my Hyper Voice very nicely uh, but I can just, uh, you know, Volt Switch out of here. Um, and it does a decent amount, which kind of reveals, you know, he's probably physically defensive Sableye. Because Sableye's HP isn't the best. So there's a relatively safe switch for me into Florges, because I expect the knockoff. Um, and we do, but he does then reveal to himself that I am a offensive uh, Florges. And it covers his team pretty well. And I was meant to put HP Rock on, but I end up putting HP Fire. Um, so I could two-shot the uh, Escavalier. But I put the wrong HP on. Um, so we'll have to change it last minute. Here you can see Alex is especially offensive Victini, which kind of makes me think, oh right, I should be able to do stuff against Victini. Then he reveals his mix with Flame Charge. I'm like, yeah, once Florges is gone, I don't have anything for this if it's max speed, because uh, Darm outspeeds it, but it's not max speed still, because I am Scarf. Scarf Jolly, max speed. Anyway, um, he just keeps going for attacks on me, and I am able to recover more health than the damage he's doing. I think he's going for the burn or something with blue flare if it can do that but I'm able to lower his health down enough to the point where he expects me to go for Moonblast or maybe Synthesis again so he's going to get a free switch into the Escavalier. I predict this and go into my Dianatan um, and I'm going to click U-turn because the switch into Regirock is just pretty obvious. Um, at this point I get to bring in Nido King for free and basically it's a free kill um, because Life Orb, Modest, uh, and Earth Power just wipes out this thing completely. Um, Regirock's bulky, like 150 special defense maybe? 100 defense, I think, maybe? Um, but yeah, that one shot it, which was nice. Uh, I decided to sack it off. I mean, it would continue to do a lot of work, especially against the Sableye. But I didn't really have a nice switch in for Victini at this point. So uh, I do bring in Darm. I predict the switch. Uh, also go for the Rock Slide, knowing that if he does keep Victini in for some reason, um, Rock Slide will kill it. Um, no reason for me to click Earthquake, uh, but I go for the Rock Slide, and here I'm kind of confirming that I am Scarf at this point. Because um, this is physically defensive. He goes for the Sucker Punch, it fails, which is a free switch into my um, Florgis. I do go for the Synthesis here, I believe, because I need this thing as much health as possible. If I'd have predicted the switch into a Scavalier with a HP Fire, it would have made things a lot easier. But, um, with Sableye and a Scavalier, I have a perfect check for, uh, in these things with Skarmory. These guys pretty much can't touch me. Um, Especially after knocking off my item. Uh, I, Alex has revealed Sucker Punch as any other attacking move. Uh, he'll have Recover because what Sableyes don't have Recover. Um, and I have to reveal Rock Team Hicks. I thought he was going to switch into Victini thinking that um, I would take this thing on well. Uh, as you can see, he does knock off my item. Mean, he gets a crit, I think. Um, but we both recover up on each other. So I think in the end I'll win this battle. But I'm going to use this chance to switch to Forges. He predicts a switch lovely. Here's the toxic, because obviously I am a steel type and I would be immune to it. Um, but in comes the Scavalier, I should have predicted this and gone for HP Fire. 
Um, but I'm also scared of the Victini. If I'd gone for two Moon Blasts, that would potentially be enough to take down Victini. Uh, here he goes to the Pursuit, which is also a very nice play. Um, I guess it was probably for Mega Latios, potentially, as well. Um, otherwise, I'm not that weak to Dark type. Uh, anyway, I bring in my Skarmory. He knows I'm going to probably... I mean, he knows I wall it. Um, I could put extra damage on that thing, um, but he doesn't want that because he wants the he wants to have enough HP so he can live a hidden power fire. Anyway, here we're just kind of like playing mind games. I go for Toxic mainly because the reason I was happy to run Toxic on this thing was if he wants to magic bounce it, it doesn't obviously affect me. So um, that that's what happens. Basically, here we play a bit of Sucker Punch, recovering mind games, Toxic mind games. He's he's very resolute on staying in, but we're not doing much to each other. So basically, it's a game of who's going to be the most stubborn. Who is going to stay in and play the waiting game longer? Now, I can take more hits than he can. Um, and I think at this point I also have more roosts, potentially. Um, I also have more PP in my offensive moves. And I can wear him out of Sucker Punch. is pretty easy. Um, so, I have the upper hand in this matchup. But I decide to switch out here into Florgius. As he goes for the knockoff. And he gets a crit. Which is annoying because it forces me to recover on the next turn. Gives him a free switch into his Victini, and at this point, if he sets up a Flame Charge, I lose. Luckily, Flame Charge won't take me out here, so he has to go, uh, he does go for it, sorry. But, that allows me to go for Moon Blast, and I get the Special Attack Drop, that is vital, which means I can now live a Psy Shock from uh, this thing. Uh, I don't know why Alex gave me that count, because he could just Blue Flare and kill me, um, but I switched this thing in. I have revealed I'm not Rindo Berry, but he decides to switch out anyway. Could potentially live. He doesn't know I'm physically offensive yet, so I could potentially live the energy ball from his uh, spread. I imagine. Here I'm just determined. I don't care if he knocks me off. I don't care if he toxics me. I have recover, so I can recover my health. I just want to burn on this thing. If I can score a burn on this, it will make my job of taking it down so much easier because floor just is gone. It's pretty much the only way I have. We've seen how much damage he is can do do to it with Thunderbolt. Um, so if I can burn it and maybe get some damage off of. Heliolisk and then clean up with Darm late game. That's pretty much my plan now. Um, I also have a very solid switch in into uh, Whimsicott in Skarmory. Skarmory was a really good matchup for me this week, as long as Victini wasn't in on it. But um, he knows that I've got a attack that will probably kill Victini, so he can't switch straight into it. Here he does a good, nice play in Encore's Moon to Roost. I'm at full health now. Uh, I'm probably not going to want to stay in. I'm going to switch out out of there, and I'm going to go into Heliolisk. I'm pretty sure I hard switch here because I oh know I go for the Thunderbolt. It does a lot of damage. He does click recover. Um, I was pretty confident I could live a Sucker Punch at that point. But then I decide, you know what, he's got enough health here where he can Sucker Punch me and it'll do a lot of damage, so I just want to switch out. Predict that nicely, go into Gastrodon. He hasn't got a school switch in anymore because Whimsicott dies, um, Escavalier doesn't want to take a burn, and Sableye is his best switch because obviously Victini will die to the Scold. So I do get the burn, which is lovely. It's important, it's vital as you'll see later on. Um, I bring in my Skarmory, and at this point it's definitely a winning battle for me, because he is losing health each turn with the burn. Um, at this point I've sped up the game because it's it's pretty stally. It turns out to be a lot of roosting and a lot of um, chip damage off on Sableye. That damage I got off on uh, Scavalier now was actually enough to the point where I could HP fire with Florgius and kill that thing, but obviously Florgius is dead, so that ain't gonna happen. Um, but here I can, obviously you can see I'm going for Iron Head Flinches, I don't, I don't even care that I'm playing this way at this point. Um, I'm switching up my moves because obviously if I, if he brings Victini in on an Iron Head, it's a relatively free switch for him, uh, which we don't want. However, obviously then he will have to kill me with Blue Flare, which is what I want him to do, um, because mainly I don't want him to be able to freeze up Flame Charge. Flame Charge won't kill me at this range of health. I do go for the Iron Head here, he sacks off his um, Whimsy Cop. Which is nice, it means he doesn't have as much of a switch in. I'm going to sack off Skarmory at this point. I know it's going to take a Scavalier and Sable on perfectly, but I can't risk a switch into anything else. I could have probably switched into Gastron at that point, but I didn't want to risk anything. Um, he knows I have speed, so I'm free to click Thunderbolt. Um, Thunderbolt does a good amount of damage. This thing is AB, it confirms. I get the paralysis, doesn't really matter, um, unless he gets fully paralyzed. Go for the Volt Switch, and this is why keeping Skarmory would have been nice. Um, because Gastron just dies to Mega Horn. Skarmory wouldn't have, not even close. It would probably done about 20% max. But it doesn't matter because Helios can now come in, Thunderbolt this thing, and kill it. Um, so it gets one kill this week. Now in comes Sableye. This is where the burn is pretty important. I go for the Thunderbolt. It does a lot of damage, as you can see. So if I get crit, I'm with Burn. He's risking this thing dying. Um, 
but he's going to play the recover game on me, apparently. But I will win. The burn saves me. I don't die to the sucker punch. I get the thunderbolt off. That and burn combined mean that I can freely go uh, for earthquake if he decides to kill me this turn. On the next turn, it will be a confirmed kill. At 27%, I can't kill him with my darn spread. At this point, Alice thinks he's won, because obviously rocks, I'm at 26%. But this thing's burnt. The fact he's burnt means I live the sucker punch on 6%. I can lock myself into Earthquake. I don't think he thinks I'm Scarfed at this point, um, and he says he's won. But nope, I reveal the Scarf, and I do get the Earthquake. Very, very, very close one over. The Special Attack drop both helped me out, as well as the um, Burn. School Burn was inevitable. I went for enough school, so. Um, but yes, we win 1-0 against Alex, and we are now 3-1 this season. Um, believe we're still sitting third in the table, which is extremely nice. Unexpected, too. Um, but next week we have uh, a match against Frank, and I'm very upset because I am unable to play it because I'm going on holiday on Friday to Monday, and I'm pretty sure me and Frank wouldn't be able to team build and battle by Thursday because we are both busy people. So we will have Lars, also known as El Sizzle from the GBA, battling for us um, and team building. So I'm not, I have, we haven't sorted out who's uploading what where, but I imagine it'll be on his channel. So I'll leave links and stuff to his channel in the description as well as um, Alex's stuff, of course. Make sure you go check out his side of the battle when he uploads. Sorry there's no team builder, but make sure you are here for week five. Hopefully we can continue the winning streak. See you later.